welcome back and uh, today we are doing the recording of 22nd november's godly blessing there's one word which can make or break a life and that word is i and supreme father is going to elaborate this word today in a very specific manner so that we can understand the nitty gritties and the very basic aspects of the word i over here from a spiritual point of view and from a physical point of view so let's get in and let's explore this word the word i God says, may you be free from any bondage of your body and stable in your original form by having the awareness of the word I. So from the bondage of your body and stable in the original form, we're going to explore these two areas now. God says the word I makes you fly and the word I also brings you down. We all are looking for liberation. We all say we neither did we get anything with us nor we could have taken anything with us right but as soon as we think of ourselves as a physical being of this earth immediately everything around me is mine we generally tell people around us that we are just travelers over here but do we really behave like that do we really talk like that with other people or do we tell them i own this this is mine this is my property and that is mine and then the ego of it comes over whereas nothing is mine right but do we feel that and express ourselves in that manner or do we attach our respect do we attach our value in the society on the basis of these accolades and accomplishments whether physical or non-physical so that's what god is pointing to us that the word i can make you fly make you feel lighter or if you talk to somebody and you talk about yourself on the basis of your post position your job title your accomplishments financial or any other then you are either making somebody jealous or if the other person is better than you in those accomplishments you would feel low in your life or you can even pass on low self esteem or jealousy or any other trait but if you think about yourself not on these body terms there's some benefit let's explore that so god says so the word i can make you fly and the word i can also bring you down when you say i remember your original incorporeal form so this body is a corp and the original incorporeal form is either soul and you the soul who's sitting inside that body and listening to this audio through your physical organs known as the ears of your physical body so your physical body is not you your physical body is just a medium to express and to experience this world on this world on this very earth the world stage so you are an actor with a costume which is your body and the actor which is sitting inside which cannot be seen with these two eyes cannot be under can only be understood to the eye of divinity or intellectuality is that you are a spark an infinite being infinitesimal spark an energy a metaphysical energy sitting right at the center of your forehead and you're sitting over there and if you relate to that infinitesimal spark and energy infinite energy then you are infinite but if you relate yourself to your physical surroundings physical aspects physical attainments and wealth then you are limited even if you are a billionaire you are still limited so then god says let it become natural the practice of i am a soul and i am not this body so i need to relate myself to this infinite form that i actually am i need to connect back to my original form it's like returning home when we travel for a very long time we feel like going back home right we feel uneasy so the anger the ego the jealousy the hatred is an uneasiness in our mind because why because we have come traveled far away and we have thought that where we are staying in a hotel is a real home it's not actually actually right so similarly when we think of this body as self it's not right because the body is limited and things around us whether it's your house whether it's your palace is limited right but you are an unlimited being so that's why god says decide where you want to attach where your where are your priorities where you want to feel lighter if you think of yourself as a body you want to feel heavier comparison competition relating to others and asking for respect on the basis of your physical beauty or accolades or things and wealth and what all your positions are and this will not limit to it you'll get tired when you compare yourself on those basis or choose yourself to be a soul conscious being an energy conscious being an infinite being and there's no need to compare yourself with anybody in any material matter 
So then God says, finish the eye of body consciousness and you will become free from any bondage of your body because it is the word I that brings arrogance of your body. Think of it, when you meet somebody new, you talk about, you first of all, see that person's looks. Immediately your eyes go on to what that person is wearing. It's a body conscious trait. Then you look at the person's jewelry or clothes or the car or then you speak about what job you're doing or what business you're doing, how much you're earning, maybe. And if you relate to all these things and you are comparing in your mind continuously when you're talking about all these things, and that's where either you're creating low self-esteem or you're creating ego if you're better than that person in those aspects. So that is a bondage because what have you exchanged with each other? You've exchanged energies of jealousy or you've exchanged energies of low self-esteem. So was it fruitful? No, that is what is body consciousness. So the world is becoming aware. The world is saying, let's not talk about these outer superficial things. And what God ta talks about is, in very specific terms, he says, these outer superficial things are body consciousness. Deep body consciousness and become soul conscious. So what is soul consciousness? Do I have humility? I can only have humility when I'm not considering myself or relating myself for any importance or any respect on these physical aspects, then I can talk soul to soul. Then one can have a soul to soul relationship as compared to physical barriers. We are just limited to the skin and that's what we talk about. Then we can talk about job and other things. So it's just a limitation which we are all connected to each other with its family members or with its friends. And God wants us to go beyond the skin because beneath there's a soul, connect to the soul. So then God says, it is a word I that brings arrogance of your body and ties you in a karmic bondage. So jealousy karmic bondage, low self-esteem karmic bondage, comparison karmic bondage, these are karmic bondages which are not making you feel good. However, when you have the awareness, I am an incorporeal soul. I'm an infinite being, I don't belong to this world, I've just come over here to act. Play my act, do good karmas, and not take anything along with me obviously, and then only take blessings along with me. If I am making somebody jealous, I am not taking blessings. If I am comparing myself with others and others are feeling down because of my status or my arrogance or my money and other things, then I am not getting any blessings from people. Isn't that true? So then God says, you will go beyond body consciousness and form a relationship of karma, not a bondage of karma. That's soul to soul talk. So you're not creating any karmic cons. You're talking about humility, you're talking about patience, you're talking about so many beautiful things. And automatically you're talking very less. No waste thoughts, no wasteful comparisons. Think about it, how peaceful will your mind be? So you can learn this beautiful knowledge at Brahma Kumaris in depth. It cannot be covered away in just 8 to 10 minutes. But you can go there and you can learn this from day one. This is Om Shanti.